It's time for another edition of Cowboys Special Edition brought to you by AT&T. Bill Jones along with Bucky Brooks, Isaiah Stanback, and Nate Newton. We hope you're having a great Christmas weekend as the Cowboys play their final home regular season game against the Philadelphia Eagles. 325 kickoff at AT&T Stadium. Let's kick things off by going around the horn as the Cowboys are still alive in the NFC East race. Amazingly so at 5-9. Uh, but, Bucky, they're still alive going into this game. Yeah, they still have given themselves an opportunity, and I think that's all you can do. I think for the Cowboys, you would like to think they're playing their best football heading down the stretch. And so if they can take care of business this week, it gives them an opportunity to maybe fight for their playoff lives in the final week of the season. That's all you can ask for this team right now. Absolutely, Buck. I mean, all you, all you ask for is that you come out here, you have an opportunity to win your division and and that you start playing your best ball towards the end of the year. Um, we, we wish we would have had this a little bit earlier, but guys are getting healthy. We got our entire defense back for the most part, and they, they showed up last week. So we need to continue that through over these final few weeks. For the first time this year, these guys can say one play, one series, one game at a time. Just do that right there and continue to get turnovers on defense, and you'll have a shot at glory. And the shot at glory is that the Cowboys win out and they need Washington not to win out. That basically is the way it breaks down in the NFC East for the Cowboys' uh, chances. Let's look back at last week's game, a win over San Francisco. Ezekiel Elliott was a late scratch. Tony Pollard comes through in a big way, rushing and receiving around 130 yards in that game, including the uh, big 40-yard run. They basically sealed the game in the fourth quarter. And uh, what do you think of Tony Pollard this week, Bucky? Well, I mean, I think he certainly has been playing well leading up to this point. The last three or four weeks, we have seen Tony Pollard take on an added responsibility, make more plays, and kind of deserve more playing time. To see him in his first start really show up and show out, I thought it was great. I also thought the Cowboys did a great job of feeding him the ball, something that sometimes we want to see them do with Ezekiel Elliott when Zeke is in the lineup. Yeah, I, I was going to say the same exact thing, Buck. I think Kellen Moore did a great job of committing uh, to getting Tony Potter to the ball early um, and get him going consistently. Um, obviously, he didn't do that he didn't do that great in the run, but I don't think that's really on his shoulders. I think that's the offensive line providing opportunities. Um, but he was his own one-two punch, running the ball and receiving. And I'll just follow that up, man. When you when you put your mind to something, man, and try to be a little creative, you know, they do it uh, coming out of the backfield a little bit more. Uh, he, he made that uh, tremendous run there at the end when we needed. We saw his explosive offensive line is holding together, man. Coach Philman, just keep, keep working your magic, giving them opportunities. All right. Now, how about this uh, Dallas defense? As now it's seven takeaways in the uh, last two weeks. They get four. Of course, it started with special teams uh, early in the game against San Francisco. And that's a big time when the, the secondary comes up with a couple of interceptions, Donovan Wilson and Anthony Brown in the second half of the game last week, Bucky. Yeah, the turnovers begin to come in bunches. And I will say this, Mike Nolan has been harping on creating turnovers since he took over the job. And it's finally coming to fruition. They've been able to knock the ball loose. They've been able to pick it off when they've had errant passes on tips and overthrows. And that's what you want. If you're able to win the turnover battle, you win a lot of games. Uh, these, these guys must have a turnover board now. They must be getting a little bonus in their check because they're starting to find the ball. <laughs> they're making things happen. Um, and not only that, they're starting to play complimentary football. These guys are turning up the ball. They're forcing turnovers, playing with energy. They're giving it back to the offense, and the offense is saying, thank you. Let's go put six points on the board. One name, Donovan Wilson. He brings energy. He brings up. Uh... A toughness to that thing and he's a safety Dallas Cowboys believe it or not from the middle of your field guys are making plays he's a big time striker and uh, he came back from the uh, groin injury and made a big impact 83 plays 83 snaps in that game last week against San Francisco but it's Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles this week we will break them down as we go along here on Cowboys special edition up next it's Stephen Jones Special edition presented by AT&T is brought to you by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Salvation Army, doing the most good. And by AT&T.
This segment is brought to you by the Texas Lottery. Play the new sevens scratch tickets from the Texas Lottery. With top prizes up to $977,000, there's a sevens scratch ticket for everyone. So play today. Cowboy Special Edition continues now, brought to you by Auto Nation. It's our chat with Stephen Jones. Kyle Yeomans doing the honors this week. Thank you very much, Bill. Kyle Yeomans alongside COO Stephen Jones joining us from the Cowboys War Room here at the Star in Frisco. First off, Stephen, thanks for joining us as always. Now, are there any of those specific young guys? I know you mentioned a bunch of them like Reggie Robinson, Tyler Biotish, that you want to see more of moving forward. Well, it, all these young guys are, uh, you know, it's all in front of them. And, you know, players take big steps, uh, uh, big steps in the, not only toward the end of the year, but the offseason. Tristan Hill is one of those guys, you know, who a lot of people had concerns about after his first year with the Cowboys and certainly was having a great year before he got hurt. Uh, he's a guy that we'll want to see in the offseason, you know, uh, step up and, you know, take over where he left off. And uh, uh, he's excited to get back in the mix. Certainly we have, a, you know, several young guys, you know, several guys coming off the injured reserve. But, you know, all these young guys that I mentioned, uh, it'll be a big off season for him, but bigger yet is to, you know, see Diggs, to see Gallimore, to see C.D. Lamb finish strong, uh, see a Baidaz, uh, see a Robinson step up. You know, the other thing I really thought uh, our other Robinson at corner uh, really had a nice game. Uh, he was very competitive. You know, we had good grades on him coming out of college, and, you know, he's, he's got a, a high level uh, of compete in him. When you have so many young pieces stepping up, like the rookie class from 2020, even some of those 2019 prospects in Hill and Wilson that you kind of talked about a moment ago, how satisfying is that from a front office standpoint, looking at some of these young guys and saying, hey, we've got a bright future? Well, it's going to be critical uh, that these young guys step up. And that is one thing that's been a, a plus in terms of the injuries that we've uh, you know, that we've been faced with is to have young players step up. Offensive line, corner, uh, defensive line, uh, because with the uh, virus, it's certainly going to affect the salary cap. And the players, you know, have certainly uh, participated with uh, all 32 teams in terms of, uh, you know, the success we've had as a league. And, and we all know with uh, not being able to have uh, stadiums at full capacity, uh, some of them empty, uh, you know, that's going to change the economics and the players, uh, you know, are part of that as well. So uh, I'm sure we're going to have a tight cap situation. We don't know that uh, for sure yet. But as that tightens up, the need to have your young players step up will be huge for us. And uh, certainly we all know uh, uh, we have Dak out there that we want to get a long term contract with. Uh, we certainly have some, uh, you know, high priced players, uh, although they deserve it, uh, some high priced players on our roster right now. And with all those high priced players, you have to fill some other spots. And as it sits right now, what is a position of need that you're looking to evaluate and looking to add to going into 2021? Well, when you look at our football team, I think, you know, it obviously jumps out at you this year. It's, uh, you know, on defense. And uh, uh, certainly as we move forward, uh, you know, we'll be looking, uh, you know, to help that defense. And uh, at the same time, though, that's how you get yourself in trouble sometimes if you, if you get too laser focused and there's a great player sitting there, a la C.D. Lamb. Uh, last year, we were thinking we were going to take a, a defensive player there with that first pick, but C.D. Lamb was too good to pass up. And uh, as you know, we're certainly glad uh, we made that pick. Thank you very much, Stephen. I appreciate your time as always. Thank you. There we go. Stephen Jones, back to you, Bill. Thanks, Kyle and Steven. And up next here on Special Edition, let's take an up-close look at Jalen Hurts and this Philadelphia Eagles offense. This segment was brought to you by the Texas Lottery. Play the new sevens scratch tickets from the Texas Lottery. With top prizes up to $977,000, there's a sevens scratch ticket for everyone. So play today. This segment is brought to you by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. Well, I mean, you have to be impressed with Jalen's uh, accomplished the last you know two and a half games. You know, gets in, in, in the Green Bay game, and you know, not only does you know he make makes plays with his feet, uh, you know, with the with the quarterback runs, they you know run almost every quarterback run um, potentially you know, in their offense these last two games, and. He's done very well with it, but you know he's also made 
a number of huge plays in the passing game, you know, both you know, play extension. Uh, he's done a good job with the vertical ball, so um, you, you have to be nothing but impressed uh, with his productivity these past two and a half games. Brought to you by Nationwide Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy on this week's opponent, Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles, as we welcome you back here to Cowboys Special Edition. Brought to you by AT&T. Jalen Hurts making his third NFL start as a rookie out of both Alabama and Oklahoma. He's been impressive uh, so far. Let's go around the horn. Isaiah, what do you, what do you see when you see Jalen Hurts uh, and the impact he's made on this Eagles team replacing Carson Wentz a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, he's bringing he's bringing energy, man. And he bring, brings a, a dual threat, uh, you know, opportunity at that position, the quarterback position. He's obviously came in shaking some things up. Um, when you face Jalen Hurts, you not only have to respect his running ability, um, but you also have to respect the fact that he can sit back there in that pocket and pick you apart as well. They didn't get the W last week, but he was very efficient throwing the ball. You know, I like this kid, and I've been watching him since Bama uh, on his way through OU. Man, you used to talk about him a little bit, Bill. Uh, he's a little too casual with that football sometimes. A greater pass is I think he's going to be in a devastating runner. Uh, he's got to be uh, more ball secure uh, with his thoughts. You know, it's funny, Nate and Isaiah, when I look at Jalen, he reminds me a lot of the Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott. Watching him when he was coming through Alabama, he reminded me a lot of how Dak played at Mississippi State. And I think the best thing that he has brought to that Philadelphia team has been his leadership ability his poise, his calm, his confidence has really given this Eagles team a bit of a life and some identity. And I think they're playing well because of it. He is really a solid player for them. We'll see if he's able to keep that up. And uh, following up, Nate, with you on, on Jalen, what about this uh, Dallas defense and defending the run and just the threat as you've watched Jalen, not only uh, in his short time in the NFL, but also in college, his ability to run the football? It's about assignments with him. If you do not uh, redo that option, that run option, and read it correctly and stay in your gaps and stay in your – this kid will crush you. He is legit. You know, and, and he's different from Kyler Murray uh, and other running quarterbacks and that he, it's not so much his speed, although he ran a 4.59 at the Combine. Uh, Bucky, when you look at him, he, he's got that power as well. I mean, this guy was a power lifter in high school. Uh, he's, he's like another running back in the backfield, isn't he? Absolutely. And I think Nate talks about it. Like you have to be on your keys. And I think the scary thing could be, we saw how the Baltimore Ravens were able to use Lamar, like the running game and those things or whatever. Now you talk about Jalen Hurst, who's not explosive like Lamar Jackson, but he poses a threat. You have to account for him. He, once again, the Cowboys, eye discipline, their overall physicality will be toughness with him in the ball game. All right, let's go around the horn about the Eagles defense. And what are the Cowboys facing in Philly's uh, defense? Uh, Fletcher Cox makes another Pro Bowl that's six in his career, and he's uh, dominant in the middle of that defensive line. But what do you see, Isaiah? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Fletcher Cox seems like he's been around forever, um, but he's a big man up front. Uh, he controls the line of scrimmage. He's strong when we're weak up front right now, and they're going to be very aggressive in that front seven. Uh, in the secondary, they're going to be play pretty soft because they have some veterans back there that can keep everything in front of them. He's going to pound. He's going to grind. He's going to be everything. I like Fletcher Cox coming out of college. That's my man. I hope you don't dominate the Cowboys. <laughs> you know, it's funny because you talk about Fletcher Cox being a tone setter. Uh, Brandon Graham is also a guy that can get it done. And so when you think about Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Derek Barnett, they have some high energy guys on their front line. But if the Cowboys can protect those guys in the back end, their second year players can be had. All right. We got much more of Cowboys Special Edition to come. The matchups to watch for as the Cowboys take on the Eagles 325 Sunday at AT&T Stadium when we come back. This segment was brought to you by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. This segment is brought to you by AT&T. Welcome back to Cowboys Special Edition, brought to you by AT&T. Let's look at some of the key matchups for the Cowboys against the Eagles on Sunday afternoon. And uh, how about we start with you, Isaiah? What are you seeing with the uh, matchup with the Cowboys receivers, specifically Amari Cooper against an Eagles secondary? Of course, they acquired Darius Slay in the offseason. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think Amari Cooper should have a should have a heck of a day against Darius Slay and the rest of this secondary. I don't think that they're playing nearly as aggressive as he as he used to be um, back in the day. Um, these are two savvy vets, um, but Cooper is uh, savvy enough to find the soft spots of these zones as these guys are running a lot of too high shell. All right, Nate, your matchup: D. Law, Tank Lawrence, Matt Pryor, the offensive line for the <laughs> Eagles that has been decimated by injuries. In fact, Carson Wentz was sacked 50 times this season. Uh, Jalen Hurts six times uh, last week. W what are you seeing uh, there in that matchup? They will have to run the ball to be successful against the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, what they need to do is uh, if they want to be, if Matt Pryor wants to be successful, they have to stay ahead of the chains. This dude is a big lumbering, sluggish type guy. If he get his hands on you, he'll hurt you. But if you can get that first quick step and get around him or make him have to take an extra step, you can beat him. This will be a nice matchup depending on down and distance. All right. And uh, Bucky's matchup to look for the Jalen's. Jalen Hurts, quarterback for the Eagles. Jalen Smith, linebacker for the Cowboys. What do you see in there, Bucky? Well, I think Jalen Smith needs to eat his Wheaties because Jalen Hurts is a problem on the perimeter. And this read option and design quarterback run game that the Eagles have been doing has given opponents problems. And so Jalen Smith has to be disciplined. It's been a thing that he struggled with in terms of understanding where his gap is and filling in the right spot. He is going to be in the right spot at the right time. If not, Jalen Hurts could have a big day on the ground. And let me follow up with you, uh, Bucky. Uh, as Leighton Vander Esch looks like he's going to be out this week and Sean Lee will get the start. You know, I think uh, throughout Sean Lee's career, he seems like he's played his best games against the Philadelphia Eagles. Might be because he's played them against them so much and uh, and with his, uh, his study habits and so forth. It's going to be interesting to see Sean Lee on the field. Yeah, he's a coach on the field, and maybe he can be a steadying influence on Jalen Smith, get him to play in his gap. But they're going to need Sean Lee to show up because this running game is problematic when you have these two guys that can run it, Hurts and Miles Sanders. All right, we wrap up this edition of Cowboys Special Edition when we come back in just a moment. This segment was brought to you by AT&T. Special Edition, presented by AT&T, was brought to you by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Dallas Cowboys. AT&T. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full access to coaches film and game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. Subscribe at DallasCowboys.com slash Game Pass. Final couple of minutes here of Cowboys Special Edition as we get you set for the Cowboys and the Eagles at AT&T Stadium. Final home regular season game for Dallas. As the Cowboys have those playoff hopes still alive. Again, remember the Cowboys need to win out. They need Washington not to win out. And Washington has the uh, 305 kickoff against Carolina. There's to be some scoreboard watching uh, going on. Some keys to a Cowboys victory. Let's go around the horn. Let's start with you, Bucky. It always comes down to the turnover battle. The Cowboys have been able to win the last couple of weeks because they dominated the turnover battle. So take care of the ball on offense. If they can take it away a couple of times on defense, that is a path to victory, and we've seen that happen. I think we just need a couple a couple big plays from every phase of the game. Right? And going to the complementary side of things, we need to turn the ball over, we need to score off those turnovers, and we need to control the, the, the field of possession. D-Law take care of the outside. Antoine Woods kept, take care of the middle of the D-line. And Donovan Wilson, my big-time striker, keep coming, baby. And this game is yours by one point. Okay, and as we wrap up uh, this show on this Christmas weekend, Nate Newton, what do you give the Cowboys as a late Christmas present on Sunday afternoon? Oh, I already got it in my stocking stuffer, man. A big old number one. That's a, a big old number one, bro. With a big red stuff. Baby, bring that. Oh, no. I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and a one-point one point win over the Philadelphia Eagles. Have a happy holiday season. We'll see you again next week here on Cowboys Special Edition.